In this video, what I want to talk about is something that's been happening, I would say in the last year and a half, two years, and it's related to the idea, uh, what's happening with, or what's causing adhesive lines. So often what happens with adhesive lines is you're working a material into an area, and every time you pause, an adhesive line occurs. So this often happens when you're working into a recessed area, or if you're working around a raised object. And one of the techniques I uh, created last year, end of 2016, was the palm. Now the palm, you shoot the gap in, you don't get adhesive lines. Recently, I just made a video about the double thumb for a cup for door handles, so that's the logic for that. But what's interesting is what you're getting now is often what you're gonna see sometimes is even though if you clean really good, you pull the material on, you create your 100% glasses, what you're often noticing, especially mainly on horizontal surfaces, let's say like hoods and roofs, is that when you pull the material down, what you're gonna get right on the ridge and also on the flat areas, on the flat areas particularly, you're gonna get what looks like little dots. It looks like there's tons of dust that got underneath the vinyl. And that's one thing that you have to be concerned about today with the adhesive. And also right on the peaks, anytime you have a raised area like this, when you pull the vinyl, it's gonna not only get that little specks of dirt, it's actually gonna look like blotches. And I don't know if you've noticed that, but it's definitely something that's been occurring. A lot of people are frustrated when they wrap a roof, they get that, especially on a hood. So the peaks create the problems, and you get those dots, and you get adhesive light. So it's very, very frustrating for a lot of installers who wanna create that nice, good, perfect finish on a wrap. You do everything correct, but the adhesive, you get those dots. And that's mainly because the manufacturers now, for a variety of reasons are making the adhesive softer so it really flows into the paint but because the adhesive is softer it sometimes it flakes off especially when you pull it horizontal because it basically is what it's doing is creating tension points and then it shifts the adhesive off and that doesn't go back into itself that's always going to stay so you're never going to get that finished so what i want to show is in this video how that creates so you can really see what i'm talking about and then i'm going to show you the technique of what i call making a bed this new technique of how to avoid that by picking up high you're going to see different ways to avoid those things and you get that perfect finish and it actually makes the install faster so you're going to increase quality and lower your install time which is you know the name of the game so let's get to it so here I'm releasing the liner underneath the material which is fairly common on hoods and roofs especially if you got repositionable vinyl and right now I'm going to just create just hyper tight glass when I pull with the glass notice I just pull really low and flat to the surface so I'm just going to the four corners right now four triangles and just pulling super super tight and this technique worked great about a year and a half, two years ago, but right now what's happening now, and you'll see at the end of this sequence, is what it's doing, as I mentioned earlier, is those dots and those weird blotches. So here I'm pulling low and flat. The problem is by pulling low and flat, it's those ridges you know, on the body lines that stick up. And by pulling low and flat, the adhesive drags across there. And by dragging across there, then it shifts as I pull. So notice how it touches the body lines. I pull again, and that's just shifting the adhesive off there and it just grabs and because it's soft it breaks off and then it looks really terrible under the vinyl so as i'm nailing the glass right now pulling low and flat hooking the corners hooking this outside corner i have to pick it up a little bit and picking up again it even makes it really really tight especially how hard i'm pulling so the the, the the bad thing here of making glass is pulling low and flat and extra hard so right now you can see a nice good close-up and that is a, those weird blotches and little, little little dots so you're going to get those on the on the ridges and also on the flat area so i squeegee down and then as soon as you squeegee you see them they really jump out and sometimes you see them even before they look like dirt and as I mentioned earlier, a lot of installers come up to me like, well, I, I thought I cleaned really good and then I just see all this stuff and maybe that's dust coming from somewhere. Unfortunately, it's not dust, it's actually the adhesive flaking off. So here and now on the sides, just to show adhesive lines, I squeegee in overlapping strokes and right there you can see those adhesive lines really clearly. And that's every time you pick the material up and have it kind of just set up for just a second, you're going to get lines like that. And that does not look like paint. So here's how to do it in the making the bed technique so i'm going to pick the material up really high and loose and instead of pulling let's say uh, on that first demo you saw i pulled 100 percent hard for the making a bed technique i pull 80 percent hard but the trick is instead of pulling low and flat across the surface i'm picking the material up so it's loose so it can really flow with me and once it's loose i pick it up and just kind of flop it down and hook the corner so you still want to do koji's cold pre-stretch hook the corners logic but I'm hooking the corners from high and just tacking it down, but not pulling low and flat, but keeping it high and then just locking the corner. So I just once I lock the corner, the two upper corners for this middle corner there, notice how I ran my finger on the ridge. It's extremely important to do by running my finger on the ridge now, when I pull, I haven't squeegeed, I'm not gonna get an adhesive line, but by just running my finger there, it's not the material's not gonna shift off that ridge and then the adhesive is gonna flake off. Extremely important to lock that ridge before you go to that middle corner. So don't lock that ridge in when you go to the outside corners, but lock it for sure when you go to that middle corner. So notice here, 
I'm pulling really, really soft. I'm pulling with just enough tension to create glass because I don't want it to drag against the sides right there, but it's really hard to drag right there because of that nice, good, clean angle on the side. So by shooting for the corners, the material really evens out, and then I'm gonna shoot for this back corner. Always shoot for the corners. Love shooting for corners, just like making a bed. So I pick the material, hook it up, and bam, instant glass. So really, really love that logic of just shooting for the corners. And by pulling there, just pull one more time, lock the outside, and notice now I lock the outside edge of the hood just to keep it in place. Last little triangle right here. Right there is tacked on the ridge, so I picked it up from the ridge so it's loose. So notice how I pick it up, pick it up, and then once it's loose from the ridge, just pick it up high and hook very quickly. So don't drag, just pick it up high quick and hook. Once that's done, I can look for the wrinkles. I saw that it shifted a little back up towards where I first began. So I'm gonna pick the material up and shift that tension back up high and start with the original corner. Pick it high, hook right there, just like making a bed, not super, super tight, and then lock it on the ridge so it doesn't shift. Very, very, very important. Once that ridge is locked, now the final corner, still making a bed, I'm gonna pick it up high, hook it quick, very nice and light, pick it up right here, hook it again, shift that tension, and then right there, hook it at the bottom. So then the final thing is just to kind of lock it on the edge on the right there, on the middle section there, spreading the tension out nice and even, pulling in triangles, creating that hyper good glass, but again, not super, super tight glass, but really just nice relaxed glass, really good right there. And the final one for the pull at the top is just spread the tension out, just really nice and high, lock it down with glass. And once I see glass, lock the outside ridge, very important, let it sit and relax. And now that that's done, this little section at the front of the hood, which is always really tricky for a lot of people, notice I still pick this one up nice and high. Don't drag low, pick it up high, whip it around, pick it up, whip it around. And it's all about just pick it up high and hooking it, let it chill, reading the wrinkles, spreading them out, evening out that tension. Then once everything's set now, I want to start squeegeeing. But before I squeegee, I lock in the inside ridges right now. So once I squeegee, there's this chance of it uh, stretching right there. So once I lock in the ridges, and now I'm going to go, instead of squeegee now, switch to the palm. But the palm can actually drag the material off the surface. So that's why it's so critical to lock in any ridge once the corners are set and glass is set. So I'm taking my application glove, shooting for the recessed areas, and once the recessed areas are set on this side, squeegee the flat, super easy. In this case, notice that instead of using soap and water, I'm actually using an aftercare product because those are generally actually super slick, and that actually lets my gloves slide really, really easy. This one's actually really good for your skin. It doesn't actually, there's no chemicals in there, so it's really nice. And then here, the final one here, just shoot it straight down right to the gap, and once this gap is finished, fit on that, finish that middle section, and that middle section is always going to be easy. And what's nice about doing the middle section, no tension. So there's no chance of getting adhesive lines there as well. And then the final wipe down, take off that aftercare residue. So now you can really see the surface cleanly. And here's a shot of the ridge. So before the first technique, you saw a lot of blotches here. It looks exactly like paint. That's the name of the game. Come back to this ridge, no blotches as well. So this technique really works well, keeping that adhesive just uniform throughout the entire hood. Don't have any of those little tiny dots of adhesive dots that you normally get if you drag it low and flat. No adhesive lines, so this technique, making a bed on a hood, locking in the ridges, and then doing the palm technique really, really works. So I hope this works for you. Thanks for watching. Justin Pate.